Git and Mercurial users will probably notice the VCS log improvements in IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 straight away. Firstly, the commit messages are all aligned and are more readable. The files in the commit are still on the right of the window, but the commit details have also moved over to the right, making more space for the commit messages. The other thing that gives the messages more space is the simplification of branch names and tags. The remote and branch names have been contracted, and not all the names are displayed in the messages. You can see up to 10 branch names and tags in the tooltip, and you can see all branches and tags in the commit details. The label colors indicate local and remote branches, tags, and the head. For Git projects, the log search is much faster when searching for text, for users, and paths. These filters in the log are actually saved between restarts of the IDE, so when you log back in, you'll still see the search in the log. When we have changes to commit, we'll see more new features. The diff view now has full syntax highlighting, so you can see the details of classes, see the usages of a class, and jump to the declaration. When we go to commit our changes, there are more improvements. The commit dialog highlights the files according to their scope, so it's clearer what type of files make up the commit. You also have the ability to sign off a commit. Once we've committed, IntelliJ IDEA now lets you undo this last commit. Right-clicking and selecting Undo Commit does a soft reset. You can even select the change list for the files to go into, so the changes you're undoing end up in the right place. Another change that simplifies common developer workflows is around deleting branches. When deleting, you need to be on a different branch from the one you want to delete. And now when you switch, you'll see the yellow head label switches branches to mark where you are now. Now I can delete the test branch, and when I do, IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 pops up a notification letting me know I can restore this branch if I made a mistake. But if I did mean to delete the branch, I can use the same notification to delete the remote branch as well. IntelliJ IDEA will still check if you want to delete remote branches and notify you when this was successful. Another feature that simplifies VCS workflow and lets you manage everything from within the IDE is the ability to manage remotes. Now you can add new remotes by defining the name and the URL. IntelliJ IDEA will check to make sure this is valid and add it if it is. From the Remotes dialog, you can also edit the remote or remove it. Merging branches has also become simpler. This merge has a conflict in one of the classes. Looking at this conflict, I'm presented with a magic wand. This indicates that IntelliJ IDEA can use Smart Merge on this conflict. Double checking the result shows that it's done the right thing. Like anything, this tool is here to help simplify our lives as developers, but we should still double check the results. Luckily, there's another new feature in the merge view that can help us. Like the editor, the merge view now has line markers that indicate the changes that are being made to the file. Green indicates new code, blue for changes, etc. And when we click here, we can see the changes that will be applied. So as you can see, IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 contains many improvements to simplify the way developers work with version control systems.